IOMO lays out certain guidelines for ships that are entering piracy infested waters. Now example of piracy infested waters could be the uh, Malacca Straits or the areas which are near the Somalian waters or the Gulf of Aden. So these are all areas that are commonly known as piracy infested waters. There are others as well of course but i'm going to talk about the imo guidelines for uh, ships that enter such uh, waters so the first guideline refers to the ship security plan where all ships uh, are required to have a ship security plan which pertains to piracy and armed robbery against ships and the ship security plan should be prepared having regards to the risk that may be faced the crew members available and the capability of the crew members and training uh, as well as surveillance and detection equipment that has been provided on the vessel the plan should cover uh, firstly the need for enhanced surveillance uh, crew responses the radio alarm procedures to be followed and the reports to be made after an attack or an attempted attack. Secondly, in terms of routing and delaying the anchoring procedure, the vessel is advised to avoid bottlenecks where ships may be trapped by the pirate boats. The vessel is advised to also route away from areas where attacks have known to take place. So do, to do so, you may uh, monitor the piracy reporting uh, or piracy, piracy reports actually and uh, note down the geographical positions of attacks mentioned there and see if your uh, vessel's intended track will take you close to those positions or not. The vessel is also avoided or advised to rather delay anchoring if ships are known to be attacked at anchorage or avoided completely. You have to also make sure that berth prospects are not affected. Thirdly, the vessels are advised to practice the implementation of the ship security plan. That is, prior to entering the piracy waters, the ship's crew should have practiced and perfected the procedures that are set down in the ship security plan. Alarm signals and procedures to be practiced and instructions to be clearly understood as laid out in the plan all access points to the ship must be secured the fourth point refers to precautions at anchorage or in port where the vessel must limit record and control those who are allowed access to a ship at anchorage security guards employed at anchorage should be in communication with the port authorities so here the security guards could be those appointed by the port themselves or the ones appointed by the ship owners or the ship staff acting as security personnel. The fifth point refers to watch keeping and vigilance. So advance warnings of possible attack will give opportunity to sound the alarms by the ship's crew. Hence watch keeping and vigilance will be helpful towards obtaining such advance warnings. Bridge watches should be doubled and additional watches should be kept on the stern as well as covering the radar blind spots with the priority for looking out for small crafts that may be used by the pirates to board the ships. The vessel must also consider use of more sophisticated visual and electronic devices such as infrared detection alerting equipment may also be used. The sixth point refers to the communication procedures where master should ensure that an authorized person responsible for communications or GM distance communications is on duty at all times when ship is approaching, approaching areas of heavy piracy. In terms of radio watch keeping and responses, a constant radio watch should be maintained on the bridge and suspicious movements if detected in the piracy waters should be reported to piracy reporting centers. 
in terms of lighting of the vessel vessel should be adequately lit using the fixed and portable lights as found on the vessels the vessels should also secure the areas specially they should have designated muster points to be identified where if the piracy alarm is ringing then the ship's crew and staff should muster at a particular point for example the ship's crew may be advised to muster at the bridge making it one point of mustering if the alarm for piracy starts to ring an announcement is made that a piracy attack is in progress the crew to remain within the secure areas during darkness so especially during darkness and when the vessel is transiting in piracy infested waters vessel's crew should be discouraged from being on the deck or in insecure areas they should be within the locked accommodation areas only in terms of alarms alarm activation points should be fitted throughout the vessel and vessel's crew should be trained in alarm activation if they feel that a suspicious attack or a suspicious boat is following the vessel and an attack is suspected finally the use of distress flares and hoses with running water can be used to deter pirates from boarding and the crew should be trained in the use of such distress flares and the hoses so that pirates may be deterred from boarding the vessel the water emitted from the fire hoses can be used to sometimes break the engines of the piracy boat or pirate boats who are trying to follow the vessel i leave you with this video now let me know what you thought about this video thanks